Hey, I wanted to make a small video showing you how to make those changes in the lunchbox that you asked me about. So I'm going to uh, show you how to do that. And I'll probably sound tired right now. I just finished uh, doing some exercise. So, Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your lunchbox folder, which is probably going to be different than my lunchbox folder. So let me go ahead and bring mine up. So here's my launch box. So, you know, let's say um, one of your drives that held all your stuff, um, the letter got changed or you removed the drive or something like that and, you know, you already moved the contents. Um, what you want to do is you want to come to data, the data folder. Um, and you want to pay attention to uh, specifically platforms that XML right here. And also um, uh, the platforms, every platform in the platforms folder. Um, you're gonna be making a change to every platform. You may have more or less. These are all the platforms I have set up. I have a lot more in Hyperspin just because I use Hyperspin more, but I, I do use Launchbox as well, especially for downloading uh, pictures and movies. Uh, Launchbox is just way better at downloading media than the Hyperspin programs at this point. So what you want to do is you want to get um, Notepad++. I believe I already installed it on your computer. Um, but if not, yeah, you can just go to... <coughs> you can just search, you know, Notepad++, which is very popular. So it should just pop up in Google. Go to download and get version 7.6.1. Get it installed. And after you install it, um, you're going to get some new options whenever you click on a configuration file, a text file, a notepad, um, whatever. You're going to get a new option to edit with Notepad++. And you want to start using Notepad++ um, just because it's designed to modify these configuration files much better than like any other uh, program, Notepad or TextPads and stuff like that. So what you want to do is you want to open all of these files at the same time. So you're going to open them because right now... Um, each file has a path, like a location um, from when you originally set it up. So when you added Super Nintendo and LaunchBox, um, you added the ROMs. At that point, it was added to Super Nintendo down here. And Super Nintendo has information regarding where uh, the, the games existed. Since they changed, we're going to change those locations in every file. But um, what you need to do is highlight every file in this folder, Data Platforms right click on any file go to uh, edit with notepad plus plus what that'll do is it'll open every file at the same time in notepad plus plus which is what you want so right now this is where um mo all of my roms are pretty much right p the p drive slash roms ex um let's say that i change that to a different drive let's say i change it to g or I change it to X. Well, let's just say G, since uh, I usually name my hyperspin drives G. Um, what you would do is use the replace command. So you do Control F. You will see the find box pop up. Um, when the find box pops up, you want to go to replace. And what we're doing is we're gonna tell it. Um, we're gonna tell Notepad plus uh, plus. What are we trying to find? So you're gonna find the old path, the path that no longer exists. For me. Um, this still exists for me, but we'll just act like it's not, um, just for example. For me, we're going to say, okay, the old path is P ROMs EX. So you just put that in the, uh, find what? P ROMs EX. And then replace with, you will put the new path. Um, keep in, uh, keep in mind that you're only replacing this part of the path. Um, if all of your if your game folders are still the same name and your games are still the same name Then you won't actually change the game folder in the name You'll just change the actual drive letter and maybe the the first uh, The first folder But if you have the same folder on a new drive really all you'll be changing is the is the, the, the letter All right, so in my situation, I actually changed the drive letter and the folder the games are still the same so I would uh, highlight that and paste that in find what in replace with you'll put your new drive so whatever wherever your new ROMs are uh, for me 
I will go on my my uh, G drive and I'll show you where my ROMs are now. So this is my G drive right here. I have a ROMs. Well, yeah, here it is, the root of my G drive. I have a ROMs folder right here. So this would be G ROMs, right? So I would change it. Um, I would change the replace with with G ROMs because that's that's the new uh, the new hard drive name is G and the path is ROMs. It's no longer ROMs EX. Boom, you do that. Um, it make oh just ROMs. So we're telling it, you know, find all the old path, which is uh, P ROMs EX, and replace any instance of that old path with uh, P colon ROMs, right? What you want to do is you want to click on this option right here to replace all in all open documents. Because remember, before, we opened every document. So this will actually search every open document up here um, for this path, the old path. And you just replace it with your new path. Um, go ahead and click on replace all in all open documents and we'll go ahead and do that. It'll probably be a few hundred changes. Um, I won't do it because I have everything set up how I want it. Um, but that's how you, you would actually make that change. Um, after you after you make the change, the floppy disk icon will light up. You can just click that to save. And you want to reopen it, you know, reopen the files, make sure they actually saved. Um, you also want to open this platforms.xml because this controls uh, the media. So what will happen is uh, all this stuff in here controls like the game ROMs. Um, but if your media location are also changed, you want to open platforms.xml as well and tell it where your new media is. Um, so you can search for any path in here. I forgot what letter I was using in here. But yeah, you also have to come in here if you get any media er errors, okay? And do the same exact thing. And that should take care of it for you. All right, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.